In this video, we'll talk about gratitude practice and overview. So now you know roughly what gratitude means, but how does it look when you put it into practice? In this chapter, we'll look at how thankfulness can manifest itself in your life. Why introduce gratitude practice into your life? Gratitude has strong links to life satisfaction and good mental health. People who are grateful experience more enthusiasm, love, and joy. They also have better protection from emotions that have a destructive impact like bitterness, greed, and envy. Not only that, but gratitude can reduce your lifetime risk of developing a substance abuse disorder, anxiety, or depression. It can also help those suffering from these issues and many other conditions finding healing and closure. Being thankful helps you to understand that there is goodness out there, even if you're suffering or uncertain. Gratitude isn't just an uplifting and warm feeling. It can also benefit your body. People who introduce gratitude practice into their lives cope more effectively with stress, enjoy better physical health, and recover more rapidly from illnesses. Even better, gratitude extends beyond you. When you experience gratitude, it reaches past you into your wider social circle. Gratitude has the power of inspiring others to act more kindly, and it can strengthen your bond with others around you. People who are grateful are more likely to be viewed as trustworthy, optimistic, outgoing, and helpful. These are valuable characteristics that draw others to you and help you to forge positive and strong relationships. When you introduce gratitude practice into your everyday routine, you'll experience positive effects such as a sense of abundance in your life, a greater appreciation of how others contribute to your well-being, recognition of the small pleasures in life, developing a more positive outlook that allows for a happier life experience. If you start practicing gratitude regularly, you can begin to reap all those benefits for yourself, banishing negativity, focusing on positivity. A key element of introducing gratitude practice into your life is banishing negativity and focusing on positivity in return. Thinking positively comes with a host of benefits, including happiness. Banishing negativity in favor of a positive attitude can awaken happiness in your life. You may not be rich and you may not have reached the career goals you set for yourself, but happiness is all about attitude. If you have a positive mindset, you automatically become happy. Recognizing your happiness doesn't depend on an external cause. Rather, it comes from within. All too often, we find reasons not to be happy. We delay adopting a positive mindset. I'll be happy when I lose weight. I'll be happy when I win the lottery. Banish negative thoughts like, I'm too fat to be happy, or I'm too poor to be happy. You can make yourself happy right now without any of those things by simply thinking positively. Motivation. When you banish negative thinking, you can actually become more motivated to accomplish the goals and dreams you set for yourself. Being motivated in itself is a positive characteristic, pushing you forward, encouraging you, and helping you to overcome obstacles. Being positive makes you more motivated to succeed, and it also helps you to believe that you can be successful. As a result, you will be able to achieve more than you ever imagined. Self-esteem. When you have a positive mental attitude, you'll have higher self-esteem. You will look at yourself more kindly and begin to see your good traits rather than only the bad ones. Ignore negative people and forget about what they say and think. As soon as you adopt a positive mindset, others around you automatically raise their opinions of you and become more respectful. Better health. Positive thinkers are usually healthier and more energetic than negative thinkers. The mind's effect on the body is a powerful one, and positive thinkers enjoy a healthier immune system with faster recovery times. Better relationships. When you think positively, you'll find that other people gravitate towards you. People prefer those around them to be positive since they bring happiness, energy, and joy into their lives. Gratitude, a skill that takes work. Although we're all capable of being grateful for so many things in life, it's not something that we all do naturally. This makes it a somewhat alien skill. When you first decide to start practicing gratitude, it can be very difficult at first. You may find yourself struggling to think of things to feel thankful for, or you may try telling yourself to be grateful but not truly feeling it. All of this is normal, and it's something that needs to be worked through to come out of the other side and to reap all the benefits that gratitude can bring. Remember that gratitude is a skill like any other. Remember the old how do you get to Carnegie Hall line? Of course, we all know that the answer is practice. 
It's the same for gratitude. Practice makes perfect, so keep working on being grateful for the little things. It may be hard at first. In fact, it almost certainly will be. But with a little effort and time, it will eventually become easier, and soon, being thankful will be second nature. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.